Hello everyone, in this video let's talk about how to create a real-time alarm in Reno HMI. As a software we are again using Flexisoft. As we know that HMI provides a graphical representation of the industrial process. Therefore, all alarms must be displayed in clear and understandable format uh, for operators to quickly identify and respond to issue. Alarm can be acknowledged or cleared directly from the HMI interface. The operators uh, should be aware of the alarm and must be able to acknowledge uh, or clear the alarm to indicate that they are aware of the issues. Therefore, having an alarm page is necessary for safety. As an example, here in the HMI, I have already created a simple ladder logic. Here I have eight different contact conditions as a bit and collect them as a word in the output. For any true condition bit in the input, the output will be activated and we will get an alarm. And by using this logic, uh, we can manipulate bits within words to represent various data types. The aim of converting bits to a word uh, in a PLC involves assigning specific meanings to each bit within the word and arrange them in a way that match the requirements of the control system. For example, if the first contact become active, you will get the address for the first bit as well as for the second bit and etc. Now let us create an alarm page in our operator panel. Right click on base screen, create new base screen and rename it as alarm page. You can get the alarm elements from advanced object or you can find that on the left side of your screen. And that is how you can replace it. And here uh, you will see all the alarm properties. If you want to visible the animation, uh, you can change it to yes. From here you can arrange the high limits and low limit. And from here you can show them uh, within the range or out of the range. In the tag list, if you select a boolean variable type, you cannot see the low limit and high limit values. You can show the animation when the variable becomes false or true. But if the variable data type is real or word, you can use high limit and low limit values. Uh, here I will not use these properties. In the general attributes, uh, there are three different alarm color identification. For each condition, you can show it in different color. For example, when alarm is active and acknowledge it, I will select yellow color. For unacknowledge it, uh, let's select red. When there is no active alarm and unacknowledge it, select green color. Let me explain you uh, once again what do we mean by acknowledge it and unacknowledge it alarm. When on the panel operators uh, there is alarm with yellow color, it means that the operator are aware of the alarm and the alarm will acknowledge it. But when there is alarm with red color, means that the operators don't know about the alarm, and alarms are not acknowledged. Mostly, uh, there are audible alarms when alarm is activated and not acknowledged. Uh, but when the alarm is acknowledged, the audible alarm turns off. In the alarm header, uh, when you make it yes, 
you will see the title on the top later we will see different condition like when the alarm are activated and when they are acknowledged or cleared and so on from the alarm sorting uh, you can choose whether the newly alarms should be appear at the beginning or at the end uh, from here you can change the background colors uh, arrange your border from here you can select uh, double border or single border or no borders in the column spacing uh, you can create spaces between each column now there is only one alarm text column uh, later we will add more columns and we will see it again for now i will leave it as one change phone color and phone size uh, whatever you want when we come to uh, scroll bar style uh, it is useful when there is too many alarms and if you want to see the first and the last alarm you can use the vertical bars uh, if you select the horizontal you can scroll it in the horizontal parts if you select both uh, you will see both horizontal and vertical bars from the select display fields uh, you can add different alarm displays alarm number uh, on time acknowledge it active uh, from here you can move it up or down when you click on each of the text you can change the type and header text uh, for each of them click ok now you can see uh, more than one columns that is how uh, you can arrange your alarm pages and there are more than one columns and now you can change the column spacing for each now let's go to add uh, the alarm tag and read it for that you can select define and click on the alarm database or you can find that uh, from here there are two types of alarms one real-time alarm uh, which stores and displays as long as uh, unit power is on uh, second which stores alarms in memory uh, with battery backup note that uh, historical alarms are only supported from the units with rtc or battery backup let's go back to the logic parts for better understanding here for each bit uh, we define a particular single tag address as alarm info in this tag address uh, there is 16 bit means that uh, such tag can generate 16 alarms so to define uh, 64 alarms we need to create four groups with uh, four different two byte tags and define one alarm per bit in that so in total uh, here we can define up to 256 real time alarm and can store 2700 historical alarms if you click on change properties in the alarm there are 16 consecutive words and 16 random words 16 consecutive words alarm uh, means that it is the selected tag shown as a first word alarm number fields shows the selected alarm in the list 16 random words alarm uh, means that each selected tag act as alarm 
so uh, here select 16 random words alarm from the alarm section uh, select the alarm number our alarm definition was 16 bit select 0 to 15 alarms a stack list of alarm info and assign it in this tag address uh, we do need to use all the bits uh, to activate each bit uh, first select the bit uh, then click on accept you can activate one by one uh, like this way in this table from 0 to 5 bit is activated if any of them become active an alarm will be displayed but the other bits uh, which are not activated are not recognized as alarm bit for each of these alarm uh, we can type the name from the alarm text whatever you write here that will be displayed on the alarm page to finish it uh, let us again go to the alarm page from here put the acknowledged alarm uh, acknowledge it all alarm next alarm uh, or previous alarm if it is needed that is all for this video thanks for watching